Great show. What should we call that thing? I agree. No, don't Let's call it I agree. See. I agree is the name of the show. Done. Done. <laughs> selected. You know, selected. Uh, Scott no. Johnson, cartoonist and podcaster, has not burned down a building. <laughs> Yet. That we know of. <laughs> Americans. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that serious. I accidentally used the FSL uh, template in Audio Hijack. Hmm. All that means is that the wave file got put in the FSL folder. So it's all oh, good. Everything's fine. That's a reasonable thing to not. Nothing to see here. Uh, we're in. Uh, Meerkat is on life number two, which I like. <laughs> Get it? Cause a it's lot. Cats. Yeah. Um, don't you forget about me. Americans also want to be forgotten. Never forget, unless I say so. Unless <laughs> I say so. <laughs> Remember, wait, no, forget the Alamo. <laughs> yeah, we want, we want it forgotten. Uh, forget about it, which I really like. <laughs> wow, lots of forgets. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's see, they come later. These are always in time order. Uh, oh, yeah, we need some voting live, folks. If you're yeah, listening live, go to showbot.tv. Yeah. Give, us, give, us, give us your votes. I'm only a third of the way through level eighting. Who forgets yeah, the time. forgotten? I like that. Dun, 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 dun. Not so flashy, eh? Logie Hawking up a Logie. Or Logi or... <laughs> I had not thought about Hawking Logie until Logie. you said that, Scott. Say what? I had not thought about Logie until you said it. Yeah. So like, oh, that's, oh, that's, that's a horrible that's, name. That's the first thing I thought of. Was I it? thought about writing it in to the, the thing, and then I was like, you know what? They're going to do it. It'll just come to them. And I just wanted to see if it did, and it totally did. Because it looks just like the word Yogi, except instead of a Logie. Y, it's a no. Yeah, yeah. It's super bad. Okay, good job, branding guy that they stole from another company. Maybe uh, they should have stolen higher up the chain. They I stole like... it from Nokia. Hilariously. <laughs> Hilariously. I like money for nothing and your phones are three. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm always happy with a good old-fashioned music I pun. I feel like we get a lot of Dire Straits references in these titles. That one is very elegant. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot. No, no, Nokia from uh, Nokia from Nadella. Mm. No, Sacha like Mania is not running wide and wild in solo Finland. That's all I got. No, for. that's for sure. No. They're not real happy, I'm sure. Never eat spaghetti during the show because you then get immediately sleepy. Oh, Bad is that thing. what you just did? Yeah, I, I did. I took experience. the opportunity to eat lunch, and I ate leftover spaghetti. And now I feel like I'm going to dribble onto Pasta the floor. Pasta hangover. It's oh. the carbs. There's a little Logie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little, I feel a little you bit Logie. Feeling like, like a future Internet of Things project? I like product. that I kept pushing for the uh, guy spits on the street Logie definition, and Tom would keep bringing it back to the slow uh, to thing, because it was, it was a far more classy thing to define it as. I was, oh, I the Logie versus I the Logie? Yeah, because yeah. here we like call a... them Logies all the time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We call them loogies. Yeah, they were, they were some loogies. Loogies. Maybe that's why. For whatever reason, regionally or something, everyone here called them loogies. Huh. Horkin, horkin up a loogie was a common phrase. Oh. Horkin. Horkin. Wow. <laughs> this took a turn so fast. I blame Logitech. Sure. Logitech. tech. <laughs> yeah. Services is selling and selling is services. You know, they could just add a T to it and call it Logit. Yeah. Hey, that's not bad. See? They probably couldn't trademark that. Yeah, probably. Maybe, That's or they didn't think of it, and I just made them a million dollars. Or they should just do Logitech colon something for, like, this hot new line of home things. So Meerkat is on life number two is ahead right now. I like and that And I'm a exporting. Lot. Or I'm importing. So You're an that may be our title. No, they'll never forget unless I say so. It's pretty darn good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to go with that one. Anyone want to talk me back into Meerkat? <laughs> I don't know. I like to. Wait, I like to I like... Hold on one second. I'm going to check one thing. All right. I don't really. I'll do the export audio. Uh, I will. So, one thing I will say is that never forget is a commemorative political slogan that originated after the Holocaust. So, if you're cool with that, then you should go with never oh, forget. Well, now I'm thing. not. How many people really think of that that way? Uh, only the Jewish ones. 
No, okay, well, no, we're definitely not using that now. Sorry. Wah, wah. Annoying producer. Well, no, it's good to to have someone who's uh, who's Sensitive? aware of that stuff. No, just aware. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you're. Most of you would be very unaware of a lot of the. Yeah. Horrible, unintentional slights we make on this show. Yeah. Yeah. That make well, me we wince make a lot. from time to time, that but I don't they're say actually anything. slights. Yeah, and unintentional slights. I mean, Awkward. everything you say is a slight. To yes. Somebody. You mean me? Including what I'm saying right now. Yep. Probably. Mostly what mostly Scott, what I jump say in is here. Save to, the to angry Audrey. family from itself. I, I, <laughs> what? I have nothing to add. The angry family. <laughs> well, that's how all families are. A family that can't argue is a family that's not real. Agreed. That's not all right. I agree with Roger. You got to be able to like disagree openly. That's all it is. You just say, yeah. If you have a group of people, you don't have to dance around all the time. You don't have to walk in each other. Well, I tell you, I got that at home, and I, what I'm looking for when I come to work is just a little bit of peace and quiet. <laughs> 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 I got that. In, I got that in double time stereo. So uh, I'm assuming my argument's going to go up when my kid <laughs> reaches speaking age. Oh yeah. Dad. And if she learns the magic word, no. No, 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 no. Even sooner than you think. Yeah. <laughs> Go to bed. No. Eat your vegetables. I can't, no. Roger, I really can't wait for you to start explaining factual things to a two-year-old. I, I think it should be a podcast. I, well, from you what I understand, you don't actually. Half. That's true. I, I don't think you're supposed to explain everything. You just explain enough for them to do it. Mm. <laughs> That's what I was told. Like That's someone, to to someone once told me that like the problem is like everyone tries to over-explain things to kids that they don't understand. You just need to get far enough that they nod their head and do as you say. That's fair. It's like, hey, the, you know, Echo, the Echo now supports uh, Philips Hue, the Belkin Wemo, and Wink. Wait, wh what's the Philips Hue? Is that the light changing? Light, yeah. Yeah, like the home automated light stuff. Echo, like I'm in the mood for love. <laughs> <laughs> it changes all the lights. <laughs> I just did an Echo. I just interviewed my Echo today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm posting it for my point five of Tell It Anyway. We oh, just did that. We did an interview with Alexa, Matt and I. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah. I should have thought of that. That's a great <laughs> idea. I feel like somebody's thought of it already. I'm just doing our interview with Alexa. It does feel like a thing that's probably happened, but yeah, it never occurred to me until right now. It's just our little brains and how it works. It, it's really, like all technology, a reflection of the person asking the questions. Right? Yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> and that's right. why it's eminently repeatable. She's got some pretty sweet, I will say as a plug for it, she's got some pretty sweet Easter eggs floating in there. Yeah, they're not bad. Some they're of them are bad. long and meaty. Yeah. I like the uh, her her, um, her take. <laughs> the take on 2001 Space Odyssey stuff is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We found some really good gems. And we found them, like, weirdly naturally. Like, we didn't go look to a site. We didn't go, like, look up top ten Alexa Easter eggs. We just started talking to the talking to the big black sphere and uh, our cylinder and all of a sudden she just like came alive it was kind of neat I yeah. like Alexa I like her a lot it's my favorite of the voice automated voicey voice Me thing. too I've never gotten along with Siri Siri and, is okay but it's mostly for like transcription -y kind of things yeah um, and, and okay Google's alright for like searches and stuff but I really I don't know Alexa just has a very natural it always hears me and never has trouble yeah. knowing Damn. Well, I think because it has seven speakers, like, all around the cylinder. Mm -hmm. um, and then I really, what I really like is that it seems like she's really trying. Yep. Like, they programmed her to be very, like, I I'm really trying and I don't know it yet. And mm -hmm. I just think, like, Alexa in a year is going to be really interesting once they have all this data of all the things we're asking. All I wanted to do is connect to more yes. other services. I wanted to work with Spotify and even Apple Music or, you know. I, I want her to understand complex sentences like Alexa movie reviews, give us movie reviews of, you know, Age of Ultron. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
If it does weather and things like that so well, it'd be nice if it did that. Right. But if you ask it one exact thing, yeah. she, it can really do it. If you ask a compound question, she can't quite nail it yet. And that's such a linguistic challenge. That's the part I love. That's the machine language business. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, I think it would be nice if when I asked it to play Def Leppard, it didn't play karaoke versions of Def Leppard. Oh, song. yeah. That's so good. Sad. That, the problem is that she doesn't have unsupervised learning. <laughs> right. Yet. Unsupervised learning is the machine language task of having an AI that can actually learn by context and by and, and by hearing more language. Supervised learning is when you label things and say, this means that and that means that. And anything that's not labeled doesn't get understood. And any labels that are there are only get understood in that one way. Right. Sounds like you got your NaNoWriMo all planned out. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually research I did for an episode of that upcoming project that was supposed to launch July 1st, but didn't. Oh. It will soon launch. Oh, it is launching soon, though. Okay, good. Yeah. It will. I was afraid you were going to say something terrible. And, uh, how about that there other project that I keep asking you about once a week that I really need? Oh, who, Tom? Yeah. Oh, good, not me. What? I keep asking it for academic purposes. Tom looks so frightened. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's all right. It starts with a P and it ends with asting. Oh, asting. you're talking about me writing a book on podcasting? Yes. Why didn't you just say that? I didn't know that. Because was... like, you didn't say it. I was like, this must be a real secret. <laughs> I don't know Can what it is. Can you please just write it up? Because like, yes. people keep coming to ask me about it. And what I really want to say is, ask Tom. I say you everything I've written. Let me tell you what's funny. First of all, we should talk about art and stuff, and maybe we could make a really whiz-bang book. Yeah. Second of all, when you said it starts with P and ends with casting, my brain literally just <laughs> said P casting. Yep, yep. I just it didn't even think I podcast every we day. We hear what we want to hear. Uh, what is that about? <laughs> uh, new series coming out of Frog Pants soon, folks. That's P right. Casting. How can you pee further? Yep. Trying to write your name and, no, <laughs> we can help you with that. <laughs> That's pretty uh, funny. Today is a great day. Is it? Yeah. My back hurts. I wish that didn't happen. Yeah. My feet feel better. I got to do like Tom. Tom, so when you say you sit up more, what do you? How do you remind yourself not to to slouch or do old habits? Do you have a trick? Not really. You just, you just remember that you're doing it all the time? Yeah. In fact, it was funny. Uh, I started doing it in like May two years ago. And so Nerdtacular two years ago, some guy came up to me at breakfast and said something about, you know, you're sitting up straight fine because he noticed me like constantly <laughs> oh. me sitting. Uh, but now it's it's kind of become normal. Which just is just who you are. That's what I've yeah, got. Well, and, and honestly, when it was linked to me grinding my teeth, so when I felt my teeth grinding, I knew like, oh, I'm, I, that's, I guess that was the reminder oh. first, just being more aware of that. I'm going to get the thing next, tomorrow's many of the many doctors, the week of many doctors. I'm going to get my mouth fitted for one of those like sleep things. Oh, I got one of those. That I like to call the sexy mouth. Yeah, it's hot. When you put it in at night, you're just like, I look like an idiot. No, you look like a, you look like a linebacker. You got like a football guard in there. Oh, is it is it a night guard? It's a night guard. Yeah, and then you wake up in the morning with like stale drool in your mouth, and you're like, "You married me." <laughs> like, All those I, things are great. They I are love great. Those. I, I have, have an open bite. Problem. If I didn't have one, I'd be my molars would be gone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have the same problem. with my lower front teeth are were whittling away because uh, I yep. I guess I meticulously got, grind those, not like a big general jaw grind, but just wow. like. It though, so he made me do it, and it's been the best thing ever. It totally stopped me. From doing I think it. independent podcasting might be a like a, a grinding situation because every single podcaster I've talked to who makes their living fully from podcasting grinds their teeth. Well, I my dentist said that anybody who works in uh, any kind of job at all where there's any kind of pressure, which sounds like everyone <laughs> everywhere, right? Yeah. Use a mouth guard is what he's. Yeah, saying. who's not doing that? His hey, point, Amazon you know what? Echo just sent me an email. You can yeah. set it up with your Wink Hub compatible devices to turn on things like your stereo fans and office lights. Yeah, I got the same email. So, I'm going to my actual Alexa sent it to I me don't with. have any Wink Hub devices. Mm. Well, then forget it. I kind of want to get another Alexa for the office because now I miss her when I'm gone. 
Alexa, add yeah. chocolate chips to shopping list. <laughs> it's funny. It's the first device like that I've thought about getting multiples of, too. Yeah. At the I, time, I, couldn't, I couldn't even get the one. So. Well, you know what I really want? Now I don't want to. Do that. Actually, what I really want is I want an Alexa app for my phone so I can say, Alexa, and then it goes that it's connected to well, the no there is there's the amazon echo app right why right. doesn't that respond to why voice? doesn't that have a voice command that's the next thing they made an sdk for app developers to put the alexa voice recognition into their apps put it in your own app amazon mm -hmm. yeah i bet they will yeah they probably will you it is a nice feeling there's something about alexa Here's what I think it is. Okay, we so are setting off so many people's Amazon Echoes. Right I know. Now. I'm sorry uh, about that lady. Um, that's really nice is that I think with the, the rise of smartphones and anyone who's not a total audiophile, I think maybe we lost the concept of a central audio device because I don't have a tuner in my house anymore and I don't have like big speakers. And so like the idea of this central audio device that also talks back to you is really quite lovely. And I think we, we've, we've missed that centralized music. I mean, look, everyone who really loves music has that. But, I have it. Um, I know. I don't. I don't. I might we, have to get rid of it though. Somewhere along the way, I lost the tuner. I actually keep a tuner because it's the only way I can listen to the radio while I do work. And I still like listening to the radio. Mm. I don't know why. I just do. Yeah. I think it's because I think I'm missing out on all the local ads and stuff. The that ads? Color. The yeah, you know. News. news or ads, both. Hmm. They're all ads to me. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> news is just paid for, Tom. It is. Wake up. <laughs> what, do you think your traffic's brought to you free? No. I don't think so. Uh, well, folks, uh, I think we've come to the end of our, sh our post show. So thank you for joining us, and uh, stay tuned for a brand new sword and laser later today after the following ads slash news slash ads. Can't tell the difference anymore.